check this out. The street says Lenny gave Kane the brush off and cut some kind of deal with Vasquez. As to where Lenny's getting rained on, I got sick. But if we don't find his sorry ass, Kane and Vasquez are gonna square up, and Chicago streets are gonna run blood red. So what's your next play, Tanner? Follow the Cuba lead. Lenny needs protection from Kane, and back to Vasquez is the only place he can go. He's got to be heading for Havana. Disclaimer, the next cutscene has music that I had to take out, so... Have some dancing elephant while you're waiting. Just tell this guy, nice and easy. Alright, welcome back everyone to Let's Play Driver 2. This is slow, and this is a mission where you have to drive slow. Yeah, it's... second of these chasing things. Alright, well, here we are, this is Havana, and as you can tell we're driving really old crap. But, overall, we... Despite the fact that these vehicles are older and styled differently, like they would weigh about two tons or something, they handle pretty much exactly the same as the vehicles in Chicago. And for uh, well, let me just say that there probably has the most unbalanced difficulty level of any of the cities. At least that's what I think. Oh. This mission is pretty much the introduction mission to Havana and as a result it's although it's meant to be easy I think it's like trying to insult us in a way. Squeeze up. Although, right there, I think that the auto handbrake was risking me trying to fail the mission. There isn't really much to say about this mission, it's just another case of testing your patience. And there's a cutscene after this mission as well, which is great. I don't get to talk so much. Noisy paper shredder.
God, he has the best job in the world. We're moving out tomorrow. It's not enough time, senor. If Vasquez says it's enough time, it's enough time. All trucks in 48 hours. There's too many. It ain't gonna break my heart to get you replaced, you scab piece of filth. I'm the one around here who's making this happen. So you better start showing me some respect, you hear? When you're through, you and your men leave with Rosanna Soto. And I swear, Kane's gonna bleed. Wise move, Tanner. Wise move. <laughs> he said he was getting me out of here. Vesquez said he was getting me out. Rossman pumps 12 gauges, steel tips, plastic man, big man, those trucks are fragile. So hook this bucket, Tanner, don't wreck it, and watch for the escorts. If this is heading for Kane, that explains the docks in the warehouse. They make Vasquez's outfit look legit, ready to squeeze Kane out of Chicago. Chicago or Vegas or both, we won't know till they meet up with this Rosanna Soto. Look, I'll get what I can on her and Lenny, but I gotta feed you as many leads on these shipments as you can handle. Okay. Keep them coming, Jones. Okay, now after that cutscene, we are entering mission two. And... Well, let's just say this mission is... Painful. Very painful. Especially considering what we just had to go through. Which was basically... Snoresville. And now we have this mission, which is almost luck-based, and it introduces the ramber crap out of the target until it dies, and it introduces these guys who seem to defy the easy difficulty setting I put the thing on, and beat the living tar out of you. This is not going to go well. Also, if you notice at the start of the mission before, I had like over four minutes. And now when I start the mission, I only have three minutes twenty-two. So it introduces chasing a guy, ramming the guy, random time limits, random routes, and it introduces concept which I call the infinite density tag where the target the, for ramming the mission the target has infinite density so it doesn't matter how many how hot how, how many well it doesn't matter how hard you hit the guy he's not budging and you will do a set amount of damage regardless of how lightly or hard you hit him so it be way to do optimal damage to this guy is to basically grind the vehicle constantly and yeah pretty nasty transitions for a pretty nasty mission and let the fail charge commence Victory run. Hooray. There's a few other missions in the game like this where the combination of a random route with certain other things make the vehicle rather the Ugh. make the random choice of word which I cannot figure out very difficult and sometimes even impossible in this one we finally managed to get the target driver to drive slow enough 
for us to be able to nick the vehicle. And now we have to drive the truck all the way over to a lot, which is not too far away in this mission. But for some strange reason the truck is actually pretty quick and a lot faster than the vehicle when you finally unlock it for use in the take a ride mode. As for take a ride there's a lot of secret things in that and those will eventually be covered after I complete the main campaign. But as you can see the vehicle is in a critical condition and there are still guys chasing us so fortunately it would seem that the chaser vehicles are using a different algorithm to chase us, possibly the one used by the police and is therefore set on easy. So fortunately getting caught at this point and being chased is not the end of the world. Now I would say that this is one of my least, least favourite missions in the game although it's nowhere near the worst. We'll eventually get to the last mission, or rather, the most annoying mission in the game, eventually. And this is another case of the poorly defined exit to the mission. This side alley on the left here, and in order to finish it, we need to get out and run over to this switch and hit triangle to open it. Then run all the way back, drive in and then hit another switch. It's kind of long winded and pointless and drags on the e-timer so yeah. That will be all for this video, this has been slow.